que íbamos a empezar con esta madre. Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Year, The Saints of the Sad Wars. La 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 sí, la 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 Envidiados de un modo extraño. Lo que no conocemos, quién sabe qué pasaba ahí. Recuerda, eres un detective y si te atascas, estaba examinando que no era de los periodistas. Te pido hacer una gente rara y spray. Se sienten minuciosos y te hacen un poco de veces que se pierdan las palabras de la información. Ok. Esta atención a todos los diálogos directamente implicado en ellos tanto los personajes enemigos como los avistosos pueden proporcionar artistas mentales para avanzar en el juego excelente esta boca si los juegos están actualmente activados y no quiero los conceptos de que vale 16 y si si ok vamos a darles hace 6 años y medio hace 6 años Vamos a ver si me gusta, si me doing kid good sir is it true what they say about you depends on what they're saying that you've cracked cases where there was no evidence <laughs> you shouldn't believe everything you hear uh, right jack officer nichols will brief you at the top be careful Something must be wrong. I think I saw him with Officer Armstrong. Just take it easy. Evening, Jack. Glad you could join the freak show. How's it looking, Henry? I don't like this one bit, Jack. Check the alley on the right. Victor Holt's over there in the shadows. He's waiting for you. Can we trust him? Nope, but we've got you covered. You better take it slow, though. They're a bit twitchy. Try to stay calm. You better hurry, Jack. No, pobre oficial. It's an old stove. It's too dark to be sure, but that rotting smell tells me these shelves are used for storing food. The fire is still burning. This blasphemous image makes me feel uneasy. This blasphemous image makes me feel uneasy.
As I continue to translate the narcotic fragments, I become more and more eager to contact my Yithian masters. These beings truly are gods to us. Their intellect and knowledge surpasses ours in ways impossible to comprehend. I know now just how insignificant mankind is in the universe, a doomed and simple species thrown up as a side effect of an experiment by the elder things. It is a blessing that such flawed creatures as ourselves have such a short and limited future. The board has been used to illustrate a diagram. Keep shooting. That's simple, strange. Looks almost like a flaming eye. I should take a closer look. It's locked. It's locked. Shells. Nothing useful. I can't open it. Poisoning by the looks of it. He's dead. They're all dead. Poison appears to have been on the menu. A diary. This will make interesting reading. Nothing of interest. Suicide. Or rather, mass suicide. These nuts had some serious issues. Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. Ah! We've been expecting you, Mr. Wall. A key. This should help downstairs. like an eye, but the rest of the painting has no real shape. It's unlocked. I don't understand. I'm in all of these photos. All of them. There must be some kind of mistake. Why would they want me here? That must be an old case. 
Something I've forgotten. A screwball with a grudge, maybe. Think. I've gotta think. It must have been lit recently, but it started to die down. Another key. This should fit the door across the hall. It's unlocked. For nutcases, they seem quite literate. These books are really old, and most of them are in strange languages I don't understand. It appears to be a private study area. The drawer holds an ancient manuscript. The symbols on the front seem to be written in class. There are definitely some strange sounds coming from this side of the room. dead. The beam must have fallen and crushed his skull. Medical charts on the human anatomy. Dead bodies, and plenty of them. Something dreadful has been going on down here. From the markings, he must have been one of their own. In all my time on the job, I've never seen any. It seems like these cabinets are used for storing chemicals and medical equipment. Good God! What the hell is all this? This pipe must drain the waste from his intestines. Looks like his kidneys. They're moving around with all that liquid. Looks like his brain. I wonder what those wires are. Ah! It's too hot to pick up. Looks like his stomach. The contraption above seems to be controlling his breathing. His beating heart. Beating heart. Oh, shit! I'm not touching it again. The crystal's still warm. Feels like it's gonna collapse at any moment. It's too hot to touch. I think it's being used as a power source for the machine. There's no power. Looks like something's been removed from it.
It's been more than six years since I entered that strange house in Boston. But to me, it was just five months ago. Amnesia, the doctors called it. Probably brought on by acute mental stress. I remember investigating the far side of the library. There was screaming. According to the police report, they had searched the house for hours, only to find me later collapsed on the floor. When my eyes opened and I spoke, my colleagues recoiled in fear. There was something unnatural in my voice and blank gaze. They committed me to Arkham Asylum, where I was diagnosed with severe schizophrenia. As it became clear that I presented no danger to either myself or others, I was released from the asylum's care. I have learned little of my activities in the six years that followed. The accounts I have been able to piece together show much of my time was spent in travel and study. I maintain a fanatical infatuation with the occult, delving deep into volumes concerning witch cults and dark legends, often in languages unfamiliar to my own. When I reawakened five months ago, exactly six years after entering that house in Boston, no trace was left of what had been a secondary personality. I was myself again, or at least what I believed myself to be. Return to normal life has been a painful process. In recent days, my dreams have been plagued by cosmic landscapes, and I've become fearful of my own reflection. I am beginning to remember things from that day, more than six years past, that I've told Jack Walters. Uh, hello, Mr. Walters. My name's Arthur Anderson. I need your help finding a missing person. I don't take that kind of job. Did you get my package? Uh, hold on. What exactly do you want from me, Mr. Anderson? Oh, it's one of my store managers, you see. Brian's his name. Brian Burns. Nice lad. He disappeared recently from the first national grocery store in Innsmouth. Innsmouth? I never heard of it. Oh, it's a small fishing town on the coast, not far from Arkham. Uh, I'd like to see you in person before you leave. Hold on there a minute. I didn't agree to take this... What the hell? I'll be here all day anyway. Seis para ver el venido de cinco días. Noche. El mundo de aquí. El señor Arthur Anderson, el gerente de la marginal de la cadena de finanzas. Parece que han entrado a robar recientemente en el terreno de la ciudad de Innsmouth y el encargado, un tal Brian Burnham, ha desaparecido. Por lo que he podido averiguar, Burnham es un joven gran mujer, un amigo de la familia porque el señor Anderson, porque el señor Anderson le dio un trabajo por un favor. Burnham es el que no sospechoso del robo, pero hay algunas cosas que no tienen sentido ni para no ser nada. Por ejemplo, ¿Por qué forzaría por favor una entrada de la tienda con tiempo completo de llaves? Acceso libre a la caja registradora y la combinación de... Vale. Acceso libre a la caja registradora y la combinación de la caja registradora de la oficina que sea. Para desviar cualquier investigación, si ese era su plan, ¿por qué desapareció? A continuación de mi conversación con el señor Anderson, averigüe lo que pude sobre la antigua ciudad de Nixon. Durante generaciones, el desmoronado puerto y su gente han sido habitados por las comunidades vecinas. 
Los forasteros no son bienvenidos allí. Y hay supersticiones sobre una herida que extraña en las familias más antiguas de la ciudad. Son sangre mezclada o eso dicen las historias. Sea lo que sea que signifique, sin duda son chismorreos normales de los cafetos de Ecuador. <coughs> Después de haber de hacer una breve visita a Inchimo, el cliente volvió desconfiado de las autoridades locales. No comparte su opinión de que Bona robó en el lugar y quiere saber qué es lo que hubo ocurrido. Un solo autobús va hacia Inchimo y mañana por la tarde estaré en él. Siento bien tener un objetivo después de cinco meses, intentando haber tomado otra vez en la iglesia. También me siento un poco asustado, quizás son las historias salvajes acerca de la ciudad. Quizás solo, o quizás sea solo que no he tenido ningún solo caso en mucho tiempo. Ok, la visita a la vieja ciudad. Este es el, el juego de Call of Duty Dark Corners of the Year, ¿sí? que es más antiguo que el que salió hace unos 4 o 5 años aproximadamente, si no es que menos, de Call of Cthulhu. ¿sí? Pero esta es una verdadera joya. Si tienes la oportunidad de jugarlo completo, te darás cuenta de que es un juegazo. ¿sí? Eh, bueno, esto fue prácticamente solamente lo que es la introducción del videojuego. ¿sí? Eh, yo por aquí lo voy a dejar, me parece. Eh, y pues, muchas gracias por verlo. Oh,